So you're the BSC president. Uh, how's your experience so far? So far, it's been fun. It's been fun. It's been fun uh, doing all these events, meeting all these important people, interesting people as well. And also, it's been quite a roller coaster. Even though I've only been in this position for four or five months, it's been such a roller coaster because uh, we're in a very unprecedented time, and we thought, okay, this is the time for us to change the BSU look and to change our approach. And when it comes to change, there's a lot of uncertainties, you know. Right? Okay, well, what what are the implications of this change? Maybe the intention is good, but the implications may be different. And because of that, uh, we're facing a lot of uh, challenges, but at the same time, we are uh, reaping a lot of rewards as well. And we wish to continue what we are doing in Brunei to the UK. Because one of the things that we are doing in Brunei, as you may know, is to connect with more with uh, the Brunei uh, organizations and to connect more with our society members. Right? And it's through connection and it's through uh, communication and it's through networking. Yeah. <laughs> it's next to you. Is it? Yeah. Uh, wh where were we? <coughs> uh, BSU president. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I talking? finished my answer. Oh, already? Yeah. So, yeah. How were the events so far this summer for you? For me, personally, yeah. successful. Uh, we, we've done a big event, the Gaia one, and then we've done small events with like HRDS with the Finne, with the Society Awards, and with the Society's uh, Project uh, MBBB. Uh, what, what's Project MBBB again? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Arif Shahrin. <laughs> I don't know how he came up with that name, but... No, uh, he basically gave me a proposal. He said, uh, Omar, take a look at this proposal. It's for us to meet with the society young, uh, far from London and small societies are far from London. I was reading it, then I uh, While I was reading it, I gave him feedback and then he just gave that ra that name uh, randomly. It was B -B -B. like, B -B -B. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay. another name could suit this event, yeah. Whatever, go ahead. <laughs> I mean, it worked, it worked. It worked? Yeah. I, I came to one. I mean, Bruce Son hasn't had theirs. So. It want? should, it should. As we should this, as no, we should, we should prioritize further away societies. Mm -hmm. And Bruson isn't that far away, so we can, we can, uh, we can do one in the UK now. Right? Yeah, we can compensate by joining events. And do you want to talk about what you regretted the most? Uh, as, a, be, as becoming a Blue Castle president? No. Okay. A <laughs> uh, Blue Castle? Yeah. Nah, no regrets. No regrets? I have no regrets whatsoever. Only lessons learned. Only, ah, uh, that's good. Mm. That's good. No regrets. Uh, tell me a lesson you've learned then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one thing is, as a leader, my approach to leading the battle is quite direct. You know, I want you to do this, I want you to do that. By this time, by this time. I am the boss here, so you listen to me. And then, in the short term, it works. Because it's fast, kind. People are, in a way, intimidated. And people want to impress you, so they do what you, are, uh, you told them to do. But in the long run, you get tired of it all. Because these guys are also my friends, right? And then they saw me as this guy that should be respected, should be listened to. And then it went to so far that they don't see me as a friend. Some, some period now. Mm -hmm. And then I lost uh, my conviction to lead them at that point. And then I guess an advice to all the society leaders. Make sure during your tenure, find your leadership skill, find your leadership style, and this is a learning process for you guys. You know, you're a society leader, right? And do you know your leadership style, Abu Dhabi? Maybe not yet. Not yet. I haven't been exactly when you're them yeah, exactly. Maybe when we come back, as I have yeah, yeah. When you're like at the forefront, when you're <coughs> leading, you'll, you'll start to see that what. What are the things that you do as a leader? How you communicate with your society? How you communicate with other people? And sometimes it might not work. Sometimes you will find, you will realize that through the hard way. Sometimes you will realize that at a, a, at a lucky time, you know. Uh, for me, I have learned it the hard way. Like people started to not listen sometimes. And people started to lose respect with it. 
So I brought those lessons into my uh, presidency I just So that instead of telling people what to do, you empower them. You know, I have my secretaries uh, below me. I don't, I don't tell them, okay, can you do this, do that, do this, do that, do that all the time. I tell them, okay, this is opportunity, this is event. I want you to lead. I want you to give the opening remark. I want you to help me to uh, run this event. And at the very end, they are, they feel accomplished now, you know. And I have to highlight their accomplishment. And because of that, they are empowered. And because they are empowered, they are more inclined to uh, isn't it? They are more inclined to lead with me, you know? leading from the front, but also sometimes bringing your uh, followers to the front to lead as well. Mm. So, yeah. so that will that work? We'll see okay. after but my lessons are there, but lessons are there. And I will. I'm expecting to fail a few things this year. And if I don't fail, there's a problem. Mm. If I don't fail, that means I've, I've, I'm not doing much at all. You know. So, yeah, there will be lessons learned. How hard the lessons will be, only Allah will know. And then I will learn from those uh, failures. And I will bring them to uh, another leadership position, maybe in the future. So, yeah. I'll take that into account. Uh, as a society leader myself, and that's very good words. And hopefully, I'll find my leadership skill mm -hmm. and learn from them learn from like them. you did. Don't don't beat yourself up. Mm. Learn. Learn. What's your advice for new students coming to the UK for the first time? For the first time? I mean, you mentioned some throughout yes. this video, but yeah. what would be the final? I thing? understand that the freshers for the first time going to the UK will be scared. They don't know what to do. They don't know anyone probably. And they don't know where to go. The first thing that you should do is make connections. Mm. Talk to a senior. Talk to uh, another fresher. Talk to the chibu chibu sana. Ask a lot of questions, a lot of questions like, what do you usually eat? What do you usually do in London? What do you usually do in Southampton? Uh, next time when we meet, do we go out for lunch? You know, make those connections. And when you have uh, people to talk to, when you have people to, uh, you have people to lean on, you know. Uh, that's all from my questions today, but. Uh, that's uh, it's been a good podcast so far. It's been an hour, mm. exactly. Uh, let's end it off with what your message to anyone who's reading this and take into account this mostly for Brunei students in the UK. So, as a BSC president, this is your like closing speech. My closing speech so. to all Brunei. I don't know, just anyone who might be watching this video. Like anything you want to say to end off this whole podcast. Let me see. Let me see. Hold on. I just want to say enjoy. I feel that's like I cliche. Mean, I need to say something big. Just enjoy. Enjoy. Just enjoy. Yeah. I I, I agree. So enjoy. Like my message to anyone that's watching this right now is just to enjoy your life in the UK, but. You know, don't enjoy yourself too much that you forget who you, forget who you are, you know. Uh, there are responsibilities, there are opportunities in the UK, much more opportunities than Brunei, if I may say. And your job there as a student is to take advantage of those opportunities, take advantage of the people that you may meet there, because in the future, it might help you in achieving your dreams, achieving the uh, career path you, you want to join, and maybe also meet people that may have a benefit uh, to your life in the future. So yeah, just enjoy your life. And if you see me around in the UK, just say hi. Yeah, yeah. You know, as you're not know, intimidating, are you? No, no, I'm not. Yeah, he's easy. He's easily yeah. approachable. Say hi. Coming for me. Yeah. Say hi. Yeah. And if you don't say hi, I'll, I'm gonna say hi. Yeah, I'll you're gonna have to say hi. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah. alhamdulillah, uh, that's our first podcast for Rosa TV done. And hopefully, two more in the future. You've had some very nice things mm. to say, and very uh, you shared a bit of your wisdom. Mm, this is a very good initiative. Yeah, and hopefully, I hope you guys will invite more uh, prominent guests that can share their wisdom as well. Because mm. I'm pretty sure people will appreciate the knowledge that being shared in this podcast. Hopefully, you guys will enjoy it and take a few lessons. That I mean, that's the whole thing. That's the main theme that we've been talking about: learning. Mm -hmm learning from your mistakes and 
hopefully in to become a better person yeah so that's all for our podcast today thank you Omar for coming thank you thank you for sharing your time I know you're a busy man but thank you for spending your time I always have time for you to create Alhamdulillah uh, bah, shall we go makan? Bah, SDK is like just close by. Bah, bah, on. Okay. <laughs>